President President Nicolas Maduro of Venezuela, left, and Nelson Martinez, then the oil and mining minister, in Caracas in January. M. R. Martinez was arrested on Thursday. Juan Barato agents France Press, Getty Images Caracas, Venezuela, masked government agents stormed the homes of two former top officials of Venezuela's state oil company and arrested them on Thursday, a move that the prosecutor heralded as a blow against corruption but that others saw as a political purge to strengthen the country's president. The accused men, Nelson Martinez and Eulogio Del Pino, are the highest level officials detained in a string of arrests that have shaken the country's troubled oil giant, Petróleos de Venezuela, and its United States refiner, Sitego. More than 50 people so far have been detained in a widening net of charges from corruption to sabotage. Mr. Martinez, a former oil minister who led the oil company until this week, was detained early Thursday and charged with seeking debt refinancing contracts without getting government approval, said Tariq William Saab, the Venezuelan attorney general. Mr. Del Pino, Mr. Martinez's predecessor, was arrested on a list of charges that included falsifying production figures and sabotage that resulted in millions of dollars in lost revenues, Mr. Saab said. Mr. Saab described the two men as running a cartel that he said bit by bit was delivering blows to the oil industry and causing national damage. In a video posted on Mr. Del Pino's Twitter account and apparently recorded before his arrest, he said he had been the victim of an unjustified attack. Corruption at Venezuela's state oil company has never been a secret, analysts say. What has changed, many argue, are the fortunes of President Nicolas Maduro, who is seeking to remain in power despite two years of food and medicine shortages and a looming, potentially catastrophic, default on its foreign debt. Why the focus on this so suddenly, said David Smiled, a political science professor who studies Venezuela at Chilean University. There's a need to find a scapegoat for the country's economic crisis, Eulogio Del Pino, center, a former Venezuelan oil minister, at a meeting in Algeria in 2016. He was arrested on Thursday. Did Ali Jabu the Associated Press The Venezuelan government is almost entirely dependent on oil revenues for income, and years of price declines combined with a production collapse at the company has taken a heavy toll. Now Petróleos de Venezuela, known as PDVSA, is effectively in default on its $26.5 billion in unsecured bonds, and it faces claims of $60 billion in missed payments from contractors and service companies that drill and maintain its fields. Sanctions by the Trump administration are blocking the flow of money to PDVSA. A disorderly default could prompt bondholders to seize the assets of Sitego. Amid the turmoil, Mr. Muro appointed Manuel Quevedo, a military general, to lead PDVSA this week. But far from setting the stage for a turnaround for the company, skeptics said, the move may deepen the company's woes as it cements the allegiance of the armed forces to Mr. Maduro, allowing the military to profit from PDVSA's petrodollars. Maduro is focused on the challenges of survival, said Francisco J. Manaldi, a Venezuelan energy expert at Rice University. This is not a move you make to calm the international markets that PDVSA will need to reverse the collapse, some said the arrest of Mr. Del Pino in particular seemed to be motivated by politics. M. R. Del Pino, like many of the PDVSA officials arrested recently, was close to Rafael Ramirez, another former top official of the oil company, who has publicly criticized Mr. Maduro this year from his post as Venezuela's ambassador to the United Nations. On Wednesday, Reuters reported that Mr. Ramirez had been stripped of his post. The government did not confirm the ambassador's status. Maduro wants to send a message that there's no room for political debate. Mr. Smiled said. M. R. Manaldi said that while the company had not been transparent during the ten years of Mr. Del Pino or Mr. Martinez, transgressions such as filing inflated production figures were most likely ordered by the government itself to improve its balance sheet. It's largely a political vendetta, he said of the charges. It was certainly a change of fortunes for the two men, who Mr. Maduro praised on television in August when he named them to their positions. Two clean-up hitters ready for the battle, Mr. Maduro said, using a baseball reference. M. R. Del Pino smiled and Mr. Martinez clapped. Kirk Semple contributed reporting. A version of this article appears in print on December 1, 2017, on page A11 of the New York edition with the headline Venezuela arrests two former oil officials, claiming corruption.